Hi, Jazz. Okay, so I wanted to give you some instruction for your intro to theater set design project, um, which is a big project. I mean, big in terms of your grade. Otherwise, I would waive it for you. But um, since you've been gone, we've been discussing set design. And if you go to class plans um, and you take a look at some of the dates that you've been gone, we talked over set design basics last week and kind of discussed a little bit about that. Um, you want to look over this PowerPoint right here on set design basics. So you kind of know a little bit about that. I don't want to have to have you listen because I know you only get an hour and a day or an hour a day to do homework. So I want to move you directly into the project. So if you go to Schoology, you'll see in the upper right hand corner here, um, set design presentation. We're going to open that up so that you can see, you're going to go to down here, it'll say my documents, not set design template. That's what mine says. So when you open this up, basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the play that you've been assigned and you've been assigned to work on the play quiz um, with Lex, Luke, and Luke and Parker are also doing quiz. So when you go into your set design, presentation to the template. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be deleting the things that I have in this template and you're going to be putting your own things. So on this screen right here, you're going to switch out um, the name of like set design template. You're going to put in the name of the play that you're doing. So quiz. This slide right here tells you everything that you're going to be doing on the presentation. So you've got this presentation you're going to find set design inspiration photos and you're going to insert them into slide three. So let's look at slide three. Slide three are when you think of quiz, what do you think the set should look like for quiz? So you're going to search the internet and try to find some photos that you think are what that set should look like for that person's bedroom. So let's take a look at how you do that. So very easy way is to highlight the image and then go to replace image and search the web and you could do teen bedroom boy if you think it's a boy's bedroom because it's ls right so you're going to find maybe a photo that you think works well and you're going to replace you can do it that way and it will automatically replace to the size that you have or you can do it some other way um, and kind of search separately and kind of insert those. So these would be photos that you see that you're like, boy, I think the bedroom should look like this for this character. So that's inspiration photos that you found online. The next thing that you're going to be doing is you're going to be creating a ground plan. Now I'm going to show you this a little bit more in detail. A ground plan is typically done on a page that looks like this. I mean, this I handed out to kids in class. So it is an overhead view of the stage and it shows where the audience is. A ground plan is simply a drawing. I'm gonna present this so you can get a little closer view. Is simply a drawing of where you want different furniture placed and where you want flats placed. Right here, if you look at this right here, those indicate flats or walls that you're using on the stage. Here's a professional ground plan that shows you where the flats are, where the windows are, stairs, vanity, and then it has a drawing of all the different pieces of furniture, sofa, sofa, coffee table. It's an overhead view. Now, one thing that I want you to notice, this one versus this one, is the professional one, you'll notice that they have the um, walls here are at an angle. One of the reasons for that is for sight lines in the stage. If we were actually using this ground plan, it wouldn't work. When you make a wall perpendicular to the audience, anyone sitting over here in the theater won't be able to see through that wall to like someone at the piano. So when I look at this ground plan, I tell them, you know what you need to do? You need to angle that wall out so that it's visible sight lines for the whole audience. The back walls are fine. Those would work fine, but these you would want to angle out.
But this is an example of a student's ground plan that needs a little bit of work. And this is an example of a professional ground plan. So you can kind of see what that is. So for this slide, you are going to draw a picture of your ground plan. Um, doesn't have to be on one of these pieces of paper. It can just be on a, a random piece of paper um, where you can kind of indicate this is the stage and here's the edge of the stage and here's where the audience is. And then put your ground plan on there and think about like where you want that to occur. So this slide is for a single picture of your ground plan diagram. And you'll see that is draw your ground, ground plan, take a photo of it and insert it into slide four. Slide five is for set dressing. So set dressing is for like decoration that should occur. Um, not props. Props are things that characters actually use that are essential to the scene. Set dressing are things that decorate the scene to make it look like the scene that you want to have. So in this case, I have some set dressing pictures of like bedrooms, like I'd like a really colorful bedspread. Um, I like posters on the wall. I think it'd be cool to have like a collage of um, record albums for this one. Um, I know a lot of kids like to use the LED lighting in their bedrooms. So I might put that along the top of the flats and we can change out the colors for each scenes, things like that. But you wanna think about yours particular quiz and think about the character of Ellis, the main character, what would Ellis have in his bedroom based on what you know about him as a person? What is he interested in? What sort of pictures might he have on the wall? So what kind of set dressing do we need? So you're going to get pictures again off the internet for set dressing and put those in there. The last slide that you have to do anything for is the consideration slide. So for this one, for the scene before and after, you simply have to insert which is the scene that comes before quiz. And we know quiz is the last scene in the show, so there's none that follows it. So you just write whatever's the title of the scene that comes before, and then none, because that's the one that comes after. Space backstage, how much space is needed backstage for your set pieces or for your set dressing that would need to be changed out? So you wanna explain how much you need. Um, how easy would it be to build and find the materials for this scene? So you're gonna go in and you're gonna write, um, you know, I have a bed that I can use, that we can use for the scene, or we can um, build a bed out of a box, you know, and some blankets, um, something along those lines. How, what are your ideas for how we actually get or build the materials needed for the scene? Quickness of scene changes. How fast do you think we'd be able to change the scene out from the one that comes before it? You write that in there. And then sight lines. What did you do in your design to make it able for the whole audience to see the set from, the, from where they're seated in the audience? And if there was any other things that you thought of while you were designing your set, is there another consideration that you made that I didn't include on here? Add that to the end. Last, this slide is just remains the same. We'll be presenting um, everybody else's live in the class. So at this point, members of the class will be asking people questions about their set design um, and asking them to like clarify anything or um, why they made some of the choices that they did. But for you, you just leave this slide alone. When you're all done, you're gonna come back to this slide and you are going to delete the slide before you're done um, so that all we have is you'll only have six slides total in this presentation and this one you'll be skipping over. Okay, so please work on that. This is actually a um, one of the larger grades that you're going to be getting because it's considered a um, formal presentation in class. So complete it. Send me an email done Heidi at just 156.org or you can send me a message um, through Mrs. Peterson to let me know when you're done with it so that I can go in and grade it. You will be in this page right here pressing the submit button which will be over here on the screen when you're all done with it. Um, and I hope everything is okay and I hope I see you soon. Take care.